One of the common questions that we have are, um, what are fillers, where can they be used, and, and how should I best use them? Fillers can be used throughout the face. One of the most common regions that we use fillers are what we call the melolabial or the nasolabial folds and the folds down here. The preferred fillers that we like to use these days are Juvederm Voluma. And probably 10 years ago, when we first started using fillers for these reasons, we were very, very conservative. We treated mostly just superficial lines. We were less concerned about volume overall. And so what you might see is you might see the filler in the superficial part of the skin. We would use a very small amount of filler. Well, as we started using filler more for contouring the face and for volume, we still continue to use a very small amount. And the problem is, is that we didn't use enough to effectively make a difference. And some of those patients may have complained that fillers don't work for them. In fact, that's not the case. The case is, is that we recommended using too little filler. These days, generally if patients are coming in, the typical patient coming in for treatment of these folds, we would use one cc probably on each side. If we're treating the infracommissural folds or along the jawline, we might use one cc on each side. It depends if you've had filler placed before, what stage you are with regards to your overall folds. But our goal when you come in is to assess things and to make a recommendation so that we can treat you effectively so that you have the desired outcome. One of the best things about fillers are that there's an immediate result. Literally what we typically do, whether or not we're treating the tear trough or the fold or whatever we're treating, I often will treat one side and hand the patient the mirror so they can actually see a difference. And most commonly, the response is, oh, you know, wow, like it really works. And so we see results immediately. The risks that are associated with the filler use are the same as with Botox or any injection. That is possibly we could uh, create a little bit of bruising. There is a little bit of swelling associated with it and a little bit of erythema or redness as I massage and contour the, the product. But uh, generally speaking, patients can come in at their lunchtime, they can be treated and head right back to work with nobody knowing that they've had uh, these treatments. It's always difficult sometimes to watch somebody being treated because what you're seeing is you're seeing an injection with a needle and most of us don't like injections, at least I don't. The products themselves are placed generally through only one or two injections. And over the years, these products now contain lidocaine. So after the first injection, the tissue is also numbed at the same time we're placing the product. Patients tolerate these procedures exceptionally well and do very well with these procedures. One of the biggest changes over the past uh, year was the introduction of Juvederm Voluma into the U.S. market. Juvederm Voluma is a product that had been used in 72 countries for the past nine years prior to it being FDA approved in the U.S. in October 2013. We were one of the first practices in the nation to start using this product and it became commercially available to other doctors in January. Both of these products are fantastic. What we really like about Juvederm Voluma is number one, it requires less product to give us an equal result. That is, there's more volume for each cc of filler that we use. In addition, the FDA has cleared this to last two plus years as opposed to Juvederm, which is about one year. Juvederm Voluma is also used for non-surgical lifting. We can use it in the folds, but we like using it in the cheek and the submalar area to actually create some non-surgical lifts. So patients who are on the fence whether or not they should undergo surgery, many times we can put that surgery off by using Juvederm Voluma and achieving a non-surgical facelift. We are really excited to be using Juvederm Voluma. Juvederm Voluma allows us to do things that we never could before. We are, were able to create non-surgical lifts in 15 minutes in the office. We're able to use Juvederm Volume in the cheek and the mid-face area, in the folds, we use it in the lips, we use it all over the face for a very natural and long-lasting result. There are many patients who come in and they're kind of on the fence whether or not they're interested in surgical rejuvenation. And for these patients, Juvederm Volume has changed how we approach the aging face. We're able to restore volume very naturally 
and patients absolutely love it. Unlike other products that we used to use for volume loss in the face, whether or not it's autologous fat, that is fat that's transferred from one part of our body to the face, or whether or not there are other products, the big advantage of Juvederm Voluma is that we continue to be able to contour it and sculpt it. So if things aren't just perfect at the conclusion of the treatment, a patient can walk back into the office a week or a month later and we can make fine adjustments. In the worst case scenario, let's say somebody just doesn't like the product and we haven't found that yet with Juvederm Voluma, but we would have the ability to simply digest it or get rid of it with a quick injection.